in this video you going to write the smart contract for real estate industry so anybody can list their property for sale and anybody can buy the property so that's the functionality we're going to include into this real estate smart contract and at the end of this video i will tell you that how you can utilize this smart contract to build different applications so let's write the smart contract first and then we'll talk about the application you will build using this smart contract so let me do the general configuration license identifier and i'm going to use this pragma solidity version is 8.5 you can pick any version and here i'm going to use this library math safe library which is coming from open zippling so this is the github repo and now I have to create the contract so i will say real state and here i'm going to use the library so i have to use this use keyword using keyword and i have to define the name of the package the library which i want to use so here you can see this is the library which i'm using safe math and that's the name i have given here so this is how you define so it's a unt 256 so this is the library now we have to create the first data set of our smart contract because this smart contract going to keep the information about the property which user will sell or list for sale and we'll call it property and in that we have to define a couple of field so the first field i want to define is the price so that what is the price like they want to sell it so price the second one we have this address of the owner the third one will have this boolean and we have to keep the track of the property whether that property is available for sell or it's already sold so that's why we have taken this boolean value let's come down and here we're going to take the string the name of the property and we have to take the description of the property and the last one is the location so here i'm taking this six data about the property you can add multiple fields if you want so this is the struct now we have to define the mapping because we have to keep the track of every single property so this is how we can keep the track of it so we have taken this mapping which is a unt now we will come down and here we're going to take an array and inside that we're going to keep all the id because every single property so what happened generally in the real world so when you go for a registration for buying a land so what happened they provide you a particular id for that particular property so that's id going to be the unique identifier in the smart contract and that's all we're going to store into this array so that's why i have taken this unt variable which is an error type let's come here we're going to create an event so every anytime any property gets sales we have to initialize this event now we have to create the very first function which is a listing property and in this we need a couple of data so all the data we have defined in the struct that's all we need to take from this function so first one is going to be the property id because that is the unix identifier so we have to take that we have to take the price we have to take the memory name we have to take the description and we have to take the locations so these are the data we are taking whatever data we have passed in the struct and now and now we have to store this data into our struct so we'll take this new property and we'll call it property and we're going to simply update the data so we have this price we have the owner message.sender we have this false for sale is true because when someone will list the property obviously they want to sell it so that's why we have to make it true and we have to give the name we have to give the description and we have to give the locations so we have updated the entire struct now we're going to simply close it out so i believe that you guys have understood that what we have done we have created this function created this function in that we are taking all of these data id price memory sorry name description and location and then we are simply updating our struct and if you are new to salty smart contract development then i must recommend you to follow my complete playlist on complete beginner to advanced salty smart contract developer and that i have covered everything about the salty program language so make sure to check i will link in the i button on the description so you guys can follow that okay so let's continue with this smart contract we'll come here and here we're going to simply take the property and we're going to simply update that so this is the property in that we have to pass the id and in that we're going to pass the entire property so in this way we can easily able to have the complete data all we have to do is to pass the id and it will give us the complete data now we have to store the id and we're going to simply push that because this is the error we have created and in that we're going to simply push the id so far so good let's come here so this is the very first function with this function user can list their property to the smart contract and now we have to write the second function which allow user to buy the property so if someone is interested in any one of these property which is listed in this real estate smart contract so all they have to do is to pass the id and they can buy that so let's build the functionality so we'll create a function and that we're going to pass the id which is going to be unt type because every single property will have a unique id unique id and that's how they can easily able to track it will be public so anybody can call it 
payable property store property and we have all these property inside this property array and we're going to pass this id so it will give us that particular property and now we have to do a couple of checks the first check we have to do is that whether that property is available for sale or not if it's available then we have to move to the next check and that we have to check for the price that whatever price that user is providing for buying this property is enough is enough for buying or not okay so let's build the first required statement so we'll say required we'll say property dot sale if it's false that means the property is not available for sale but if it's true then property is available for sale so this is the first check now we have to do the second check and that we have to check for the price so we'll check that if the user have enough money then make the sale if he doesn't have that much money then we have to say insufficient ban fund hope this thing makes sense to all of you now let's come here and here we're going to do the transfer of the entire property so we'll take the property and we'll say message dot sender we'll take this property we have to sell it to false and we have to turn this for sale to false because the property is sold and here we have to do the transfer of the fund to the seller so we'll say payable property dot honor transfer property and price and that looks pretty good and here we're going to initialize the event we have created and that's it so we are done with the entire smart contract and i believe it makes sense to all of you guys so you can see we have built this data set we built this functions and we have this function now let's test this out so this is the entire smart contract we have written for the real states you can see this is the library this is the smart contract this is the first data set this is the mapping we have this is the first array in that we are keeping the track of the id and this is the event and this is the listing function prof property and we have this buying function now let's test this out so we have to simply come here and here we're going to deploy the contract so if you click on this this is the only contract we have we're going to deploy this one real state click on this and click on deploy and if you open the logs you will find the transaction went through and you can able to find that how much money you have paid for making the transaction so you can check the gas and here we have all the function we have included into the smart contract so we can test this out so this is the if you pass any unt value you will get nothing because there is nothing into this array now we have to create the property so if you click on this here we have to provide all the numbers so i want to say two let's make it one and here i will provide the property id to one but in the real world you have to provide the real property id and the price is going to be let's say 34 i will say dollar and i will say let's say something not that important and here we have to simply pass this one so with this i'm ready to create the first property in the smart contract so i will click on this transaction and you can see the transaction went through if you open the logs you can able to find all the data we have provided into the contract so you can see the property the price name description and locations and if you really want to find it out that the property which you have listed so you can do it very easily so what we can do is let's come back to the property and in that i have to provide the property id because that's what we have mentioned so i'm going to simply pass one to get the property so if i click on this send property and here you can see we got all the data about that one property we have listed you can see we have the we have the price we have the address we have the boolean to true because this property is listed for sale name description and location and if i want to buy these properties i can do that very easily so the price is 34 what i will do i'll come here and i'm going to switch the account to number two and you have to keep this thing in mind just look at this address so this address will get changed and here i have to pass the amount so let's change this to ether and here i'm going to pass to let's say 34 because that's the amount i have to pay for buying this so if i come here and if i pass the property so i have to take the property id is one let's open this one okay the only parameter is one the id we have to pass and click on this buy property if you click on that you can see the transaction went through you can easily able to find the entire logs of this particular transaction you made and if you make this properties call you will get this honor will change so if i make a call you can see right now we have different honor and everything is working fine you can easily able to buy the problem so i believe that this entire smart contract makes sense to all of you guys and i will provide the smart contract in the description so you guys can check from your end we have written a very simple smart contract for a real estate industry but you can include more functionality to this so you can see right now we are taking this few data price honor sell name description location but you can take a lot of data like what is the dimension what is the nearest places you can mention those things as well you can 
mention the history of the previous owner that who bought that in the past so you can store that data as well in this property there is a lot of things which you can include but i don't want to get into that detail because that's totally up to you that what kind of real estate industry you want to create an application you want to create so okay so hope this entire thing makes sense and i just want you to build an application using the smart contract and you might be wondering that how you can utilize it in the front end so i would recommend you to watch my complete nft marketplace project in that i have explain you every single thing that how you have to write the smart contract and test and connect with the front end so this will i leave on you i want you to build an application simple application build a one page application in that allow uh, input field and in that user will put their details about these about these property and once they submit the transaction that property will display in the application i want you to build this functionality and show me okay so just tell me that how many of you are going to build this because i really want to know that you guys are working and building an application on your own and if you stuck anywhere i would recommend you to watch the nft marketplace the connecting part and that we have i have explained everything that how you can connect the smart contract with the front end and how you can deploy and make it call you can also watch the complete uniswap clone in that we have done the same thing i have show you everything that how you can test the smart contract locally as well so make sure to follow that two project and then build this one because this one is a very simple project it not take you more than three to four hours if you are a totally beginner you can easily able to build in three hours okay so hope this entire thing makes sense to all of you and if you guys still have any confusion do let me know in the comment section and i want your suggestion that what extra data we can take from the user what's extra data we can validate here in this smart contract for the real estate so i just want you to give your suggestion in the comment and do let me know that how many of you going to build this project i want you to build okay so that's the only thing i want to cover in this video hope this entire video makes sense to all of you guys if you have any still if you have any confusion any doubt do let me know in the comment section i would love to help you in that with that i'm ending this video have a wonderful day